the software. If you have any, any other um, plugins, VMware, stuff like that, you have to buy them in. Now Hyper-V is included, so when you die, you can use it. You can download Vagrant and deploy it to a Hyper-V out of the box now, and not just VirtualBox. Um, virtual, and then since they've Vagrant Cloud with lots of commands, this is where they try to get some money now. You can put your image to their cloud to share it for others, or to share it amongst yourselves. And now there's an option where you can say, oh, you can type Vagrant Discover Smart OS, and it'll find out, oh, is there one out there, and it'll pull it down. So that's what the cloud, uh, they have it to the cloud as a paid. So it's actually free at the moment for developers, and if you register, but it's going to be, become a paid service again. How they're going to make their money, that is where I'm So, uh, so, that, so basically you can say Vagrant, I, I can't remember the cloud for that one, but a, let's say Vagrant Cloud Slavas, and it'll go away, bring it down, boop, and up. So therefore, that's where the deployment. Uh, oh yes, the Slavas one did find the end. The Slavas one takes a lot more, a bit longer to, uh, to configure. Uh, so yes, Fagan 1.5 has been a lot more improvements. I did not install 1.5 because I had problems with it. I had one bug and they said 1.5.1 would .1 be out soon. So <laughs> as always. Um, yes, that's it. Um, the references are from the example, so I'm not uh, lying about the examples I've got off the web. Uh, I'd say Vagan is a very useful tool um, from personally. I have no use for it, uh, but I can see that Packer I could uh, use. You know, my installation system is not that great, or um, you know, if I'm messing around with some operating system, at least I know I have the script there um, on my own setup. So I, I can see I'm going to be using Packer uh, now. I've discovered it, Vagrant. Um, at this time, for me personally, I'm an admin. Um, no use for it. Uh, but it's a very powerful tool. What, one, one command to do everything. And since, um, and since uh, Ben has uh, then got to compile it on Smart OS, uh, on Smart, uh, Vagrant on Smart OS, so if you're that way inclined, you can look at it. Um, I told you it would be an introduction, short and sweet, but uh, hopefully you found it interesting, or at least to go out there and download it and see, give it a go, because it's, it's a very useful tool, and uh, I was impressed with it. Thank you. Any questions then, like that? Ah, uh, your British Indian Ocean. Ah? Huh? British Indian Ocean. Yes. <laughs> Dot IO. <laughs> Diego Garcia. Is that what you think, is it? Yeah? yeah, it is. It is, okay, thank you. Can so you I guess where Packer came from there, is it? Was it, was it Packer .io? No, no, it's just a question, yes, I didn't say. Is it from there or just, uh, just like the IO extension, <laughs> Packer <Yeah, that's> IO? <laughs> <laughs> And again, vagrantup.com, they just use vagrantup because they, they always say the one command, you know, you just do vagrantup and you have your system up. Um, we even know <coughs> software is called vagrant. I had a question, can you create multiple virtual machine instances from your one box image using vagrant? Assuming, of course, that you can set the damn house name. <laughs> <laughs> no, yes. Uh, no, that's how I do. You, you, um, from one box to, to employ, yes, you can, yes. You have to make sure you configure the box correctly in the first place. I, in my example, I'm saying I'm only care about virtual box. Um, so I'm specifically saying I'm only using virtual, virtual box, virtual box, virtual box. Um, so if you configure the box initially, you can deploy it to anything you like. But I was meaning simultaneously, can you create, say, a fleet? Oh, ten, a fleet. Ten, like you can with the cloud. Oh, yeah. I, I should say, I've, I've, I've recently been Vagrant up 20. <laughs> yeah, and, 20 and, and assuming you've set up the image right, it will let they all start chatting to each other and perform the cloud computation. Uh, yeah, that's a very good question. Well, they would need to know their own. I mean, I guess you need someone who knows Vagrant here to answer that question. Because <laughs> yeah. I've recently been playing with CloudStack, just one of the yeah. open stack like things, and, and there they'll let you create a template. So, that however, you, you install the machine. By hand or by automation, however you like it, that you you tweak it, configure it, say by hand to make life easy. You put you put the services on it you want on it, then you shut the machine down, take a template of it, 
and then you say, now create 10 machines from that template, please. And you can do it through an API, so there's more, yeah, a Perl script or a Ruby script, you can actually just say iterate 10 times. I, th I think the reality is that, I mean, it's exactly, we, we use something, um, no, it has Citrix has something similar. Mm -hmm. Everyone has the same thing, so they're all doing the same thing. Yes. Yeah. So it's a matter of, I guess, in a sense, why do they even say they're better than that and stuff like that? Well, it's, you know, when it's free and stuff like that, because it's, 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 uh, exactly, it's a license, licensing stuff like that. So now when it's free, but in a sense, I could not tell you what the advantages and disadvantages of these are. So they could, uh, that should have been a good slide to put on exactly why. Yes, GUIs and stuff like that, there's no GUI in this. Um, and as you say, yes, the way um, the guys using said, you create, you create a template and you do everything off that template. Which is sort of the same thing. You're creating a template of some sort. Yes, definitely. And again, the software, your, your software, whatever. Again, they're just using existing standards. Ruby, you said, and all these things. They're all using existing standards to say they package it into a different way. The, pro the problem <coughs> is of the IP management when you need a static IP addresses. That that becomes a problem, and I don't, know, I, I don't see how you will manage it. Um, the, you, there's, I don't think I have, um, the Swaz, Swaz example, I know in a sense, they have lots of, uh, out there, you can specify the IP address, you can set a DAT static, right. you, can, you can specify all these things, I did not put it in for clarity, but you can control everything. Um, if you use the um, Solaris text install image instead of the live image, it asks you, you know, manually configure all of the interfaces, etc. It assumes you're doing it through a server rather than. So, with all these things, the vagrant, the vagrant side, in sense, you've got your bare image, which has no networking, you could say, because you don't have networking on it, on a, just a bare minimum. Mm. Um, the vagrant can configure the interfaces exactly how you want it. Right, so, I, I didn't mention that, but that's, you can specify, you can set up the interface any way you like. In that one, I just say a virtual box, one nick, nothing. But in the sense that you, if your system allows you to uh, pass either via the virtual system or via the scripting, so in the sense when it logs in, it does something, um, all the, everything can be controlled by the vacant farm. Mm. I'm going to ask the other question. I believe um, from the conversation I had a hybrid cluster, they use Vagrant to deploy onto Docker. And that's how they build out their clustering platform, which is all based around Docker. So they seem to have built their entire business model around it, and they're using it on scale. Um, the other one, particularly with CowStack, one of the key things I was that interests me is more that if you're pushing out your templates and you want to automate the process, keeping always the newest version. Whereas if you go to the English route, you run it, you're always lagging behind when you end up. When you produce it, you've got to catch up with those. No, you, you still need automation to create the yeah. templates. So so it's some of this stuff is agreed. Because yeah. I'm looking at that side of the world and how it's yeah. actually going to be for me and for myself. But um, it's for game. If we can, if we can script it, it makes a lot of people. Which also does the networking side, because then the idea is if you're using CowStack to do your Mac, you're automatically going to be producing what you'd like. The other problem is working on And likewise, with open, open stack and all the others. So, I mean, that's where everything is. I mean, the, the open stack is very important. They're all even realize very important now because <laughs> they've been tuning into their system. So, they're realizing you know, it's very exactly that matter. Again, all these products, who's going to win or who's going to be in the top three or something like that? There's so many products who do the same thing, all slight differences, but they all do the same thing. It's a matter of personal preferences or which one's better. Okay. Thank you very much. Maybe there's some food.